VZ58 Czecho Pride is with us and that means only one thing the first thousand rounds is behind us and what a fantastic ride I have to tell you zero malfunctions our rifle was running on the wolf hollow points Tula full metal jacket and Barnal uh, rounds full metal jacket as well zero malfunctions uh, absolutely nothing not even you know like a hiccup or anything so rifle is performing as I was hoping uh, it will also we did test it uh, barrel as far as moving point of impact because of the heat so for those who are not familiar with this test we shoot the first five group from uh, 25 uh, meters and uh, then we do three magazine dumps so total of uh, 90 rounds and immediately after i attempt to shoot another group of five shots to see if we have a point of impact shift i end rifle delivered that barrel that german made barrel on that uh, czech small arms uh, vz 58 absolutely delivered there is uh, no uh, movement on the point of impact uh, based on heat maybe slight like minimal but that's absolutely nothing however on that note i will tell you guys that from what i'm seeing so far rifle is heating up a little bit quicker versus our regular ak's we have been running so what i mean by this when you're performing magazine dumps uh, i would say it is uh, one magazine faster heating up faster uh, to the point like it's getting really uncomfortable to touch the handguards so that's something what uh, jump out uh, on me right away i noticed that uh, really uh, it, it gets hot uh, today is warm but there's nothing it's like 75 degrees so really nothing special and uh, i shot as you guys know uh, tons of ak's in the conditions like this and usually you can get away with four magazine dumps so uh, this is something different and i'll keep keep an eye on it because that's kind of for me it's an interesting uh, observation also as you can see i do have uh, on this rifle a surplus furniture of course it ships with uh, the brand new furniture but the surplus furniture in my eyes looks a little bit more badass also that cute little little bayonet uh, and i run uh, most of the thousand rounds with the bayonet on it of course the filming of the was done mainly in one day but you have seen if you're following a facebook or instagram you could see that we were uh playing with uh, the thousand rounds for a uh, few good weeks uh and you could see the updates on uh, instagram and facebook always uh, follow these uh and uh, you can you can see more all right but enough with the bullshit talk let me remove the magazine I'll place it. Well, bye bye, magazine. Rob, don't lose anything, right? <laughs> Just like we lost that uh, retainer pin for firing pin for <laughs> Palmetto State Armory. That was something. All right, uh, let me see what we got under the hood. And uh, this is the difference, see, guys, between the AK and uh, VZ. You have to let that uh, trigger go. So I'm looking at the recoil spring and uh, the mini dust cover. I don't see anything uh, bad here, guys. This is all looking good. And now I got the whole bolt carrier and uh, the bolt. As we discussed this in the opening uh, episode, totally different construction versus uh, AK. But let's have a look at those components and bolt and extractor claw. Everything here is looking absolutely perfect i do not see anything bad with it the firing pin tip is looking good as well and no signs of deformations whatsoever same here nothing it's like nothing happened this is what uh, you probably want to see and uh, so-called bolt carrier and everything here is looking good guys too they are 
of course signs of metal working against metal but there is not excessive wear or anything this is absolutely normal at this point in a uh, very interesting construction uh, looks good I would say those who who are asking you know it reminds me a little bit SKS it's not really SKS but it reminds me a little bit of SKS right so probably the uh, Czech uh, Czechoslovakian uh, designers maybe borrow it a little bit but uh, at this stage guys everyone borrows from someone on something so here everything is looking good let me have a look inside the receiver uh, that uh, trigger control group again fire control group I'm sorry everything here is looking good uh, and rails perfect it's just perfect everything is looking great chamber of that amazing German barrel I absolutely love that barrel that barrel del delivers guys here it's all looking good let me pull out a pin for uh, piston cover because it's not really a dust uh, it's not really a gas tube so sorry we cannot do the pirate <laughs> but uh, as you can see tons of uh, gunk and everything uh, and that's expected to be but is this part is looking great too let me push that spring down and remove the piston piston head is looking great guys i'll wipe it out for your pictures so if you see something say something but i do not see anything unusual here and we don't want to lose that spring guys remember don't <laughs> lose it uh, barrel is looking great uh, CIP mark on the barrel and the gas block is looking perfectly fine and pins retainer pins on the front post are looking good as you can see I attached the bayonet that's absolutely possible with uh, this, this uh, setup all is uh, looking good uh, I'm pleased to say the VZ is kicking ass so far we have a few observations already as I talk about temperature uh, don't go anywhere I will set up the rifle for a no-go gauge test and we'll roll with that contact from six No go gauge express set up a little bit different than AK, but uh, it should work. And there you go, guys. Look at that. You cannot close that bolt. One more time, just to try it out. And nope, I'm putting enough pressure, and there's no way you can close it. So that's it. There you go. VZ58 from the Czech Small Arms was cleared for another set of uh, rounds and uh, fun uh, thanks for watching thanks for being with ak operator zion and thank you for all your support guys freedom motherfuckers tractor bus